these are pictures of all the work we did. Um, yeah, a lot of work went into this. There's a calculator. Shirley with his little yo-yo thing. A lot of stuff on paper. Mini golf, of course. Kind of blurry picture, but Starburst Challenge. <laughs> Comic. More papers. Yeah. More papers. Mini golf. Max. Doing that on the board. Sam. Mr. G helping us. Wait, no, don't we want to Math play? Master's poster. And the board again. Hello, welcome to Mighty 2013. This is hole number one. Um, I'm doing this because the person who originally was doing it dropped out. And so this is a team of people who made this hole. Um. It's a piggy. If you want to talk during your hole, like you have things to say about it, you could feel free to do that too. So. Can we say it made it? Error. Error. Go to the right and then try to go around and see if you can. Um. Oh. Uh. voted him most likely not to eat squished zebra cakes before consideration. <coughs> and this is my whole mallow, it's hole number two. And this is my program. We had to do at least eight, four to eight different directions. So I just did eight. And with the power, I put in 100. And that means it's just going 100 pixels. And the thing that was hardest about this class was probably figuring out um, where all those statements were in the programs. Because you had to find if statements and for statements, and you had to figure out where those were. One of the most interesting things is watching Max, Niels, and Cole argue. And there it is saying that it's in. Yay! <laughs> and this is my scorecard that I made. And there's one player, so I put it in. And the name is going to be Adam. And the score I got on the hole is one. So, I'm done. Julia Camacho and Julia was voted by the class most likely to break the Rubik's Cube world record time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my whole poetry. Now see if you want to play, and if you say no, 
Does white and it says press enter to go back? If you say maybe, it says um, press enter to go back. And then if you say yes, it says it's kind of a lot of text. But it says Julia C. Mighty 2013. Let's play. This is Mighty Hard Mini Golf. It has a blinking hole and fine breaking holes. This is the diagram for controls. And this is my hole. As you can see, there are holes in this hole right now. And there are three balls blocking the ball from the hole. The hole is over here. So. most challenging about this class was while uh, programming the hole and um, well getting the ball to actually do what I wanted it to do. this up because I'm trying to do something. score below four it says you're a boss and then if you get and four is par so it says you got par and then if you get um, anything above seven 
this is what you get. So, yeah. <laughs> it's called Duck Control. And the, my most interesting thing was probably um, doing a whole entire new program when I just had to fix one variable. And the hardest thing to do was the early hours. Saber loading bar. Yeah, it's galaxy fun after all. Health doesn't do anything. I'll show you quit later. Here. I'll just okay, let me start it. There's the ball, and here's my hole. And all right. Hit enter. So it asks for a direction. So I'll go direction two. Power, let's say 30. And let's see, it goes down over there. Oh, that's fast. No. Yeah, it moves a little closer. Maybe 10. Get more. Get cracking. I'm Sarah Wheaton, and Sarah had a whale of a time in this class, and she was voted least likely to speak whale. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Why does she not so I had poll number seven, and um, I my title screen is actually fairly simple because I spent a lot of time on a very complicated program because I tackled the multi-hole issue. Um, so the ball placement is random on the one axis, and then so um, and then you can hit it into one of the three holes. It's kind of slow. Um, 
and then it'll go up there. The hardest part for me was the fact that my program ended up being very, very long, so finding errors was really hard. Um, and the most interesting for me was all the different um, random number things I used, because that was a lot interesting. And so now it goes up there, and it, it's random between 5 and 40, how far it's going to move once it gets up there. That bounces a little weird. Um, I forgot to mention my random. Score five? Yep. Hi, my name is Michael Carroll. And Michael was voted by the class most likely to make diagonal walls in a mini golf course. This is my title screen. It's going. 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 It's Okay. Oh. This one is just about center. every wall and <laughs> the very center right there. Michael, could you explain the most challenging and most interesting wall away? The most challenging part was finding the equation to all my diagonal lines. And the most interesting was probably the time I would delete a line and then try to figure out what it was and then I'd have to go through it all again. It's not going to it's just going to go in the hole. You're going to get a hold of it. It does bounce nicely, though. You did a nice job there. That was a very challenging. It's going to be in a loop. In the beginning of the class, when you first drew that, I thought, oh no. <laughs> Is he ready for this? You didn't, you didn't oh, give up on it. How much power did he put in? 200. Oh boy. Oh. It's oh, just okay. going to circle. No, it'll stop right He did say it was just about every wall. Stop. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I don't put it into a <coughs> It's a sand. Two times. The bridge. Oh, wow. So that's like a pond. It used to be a dead zone, but uh, the most challenging thing was programming it on a calculator because what it takes a long time to program. Yeah. And the most interesting thing was programming the dead zones. Is that it? Woo! Clap! Nice yeah! <laughs> Charlie, or Charlie is my real name, but I like to be called Charlie sometimes. Charlie Charlie. Yes, thank you. And my program is Charlie Golf. Charlie was, or Charlie, was voted by the class least likely to buy a vowel on the Wheel of Fortune. Nobody likes vowels. Huh? I do. <laughs> Why? They're so boring. Okay, so this is Charlie Golf. There are two options. Don Golf in the holes and Charlie, and Charlie Scorecard. So we'll just go to my hole, and here's my little animation. And then we'll go to the bush, because it's Shirley Golf, and it has mines. And now it's mines. And here's my hole. 
It may seem pretty bland at first, oh, boy. but um, if I go to the right and go 35, then, you know, something might happen, which it doesn't. Oh, there is actually invisible lines hidden throughout, randomized. Oh, boy. Yeah, it doesn't here, seem to. Here, here, here. Find one. I'm trying to. Yeah, that's what I did. I purposely got into my bed somewhere. Actually, I think there might be three. Sometimes they want to have three and sometimes they have two. They're invisible. They are invisible. Just so, my favorite thing about this was not finding the mines, was um, seeing, like, sometimes Mr. G would give us a command that we could use, and we'd just be like, what would ever be the point of this? Whoa, maybe I can use it for this, and maybe I could use it for this. And it was a great experience. And then the very difficult part was just the balance, but also just figuring out when something, you know, I'm, I'm screwed this. No. no. <laughs> it was, um, just figuring out what the problem was, because there's like a billion, that's uh, hyperbole, but. There's like billions of lines of code, and you can't really seem to find find the problem. So I got it yes. fourteen. Same score yeah. as Neil's. Um, and after I showed you your score, you can see where the mines were. Oh. And then here's my little winning animation. Avoiding the mines like a pro. Like a boss. Like a boss. Boom. You, you win. win. Yeah. Whoa. Hi, I'm Shu here, and. Shahir was voted by the class most likely to work for Google. Yeah, Google, not Apple. So this is my program. Yay. Okay, so if you click help, it'll tell you for direction do one two three one two three six nine eight seven four for power do one two hundred or more if you're like max. Then if you press enter, it's blank. It's gonna have to go to that. Way. I totally helped with this animation. I'm so yeah, Max helped me with this animation. Thank you. Okay, now I'll click play. Welcome to Will. Are those randomized? No. You should What was most challenging about this class is I didn't know algebra like all the way. I only know some algebra. But what was interesting is that I never knew to do this on calculator. I just use them to do multiplication and stuff. Are those dead zones or walls? What? These are walls. Yeah. Rectangle is dead. Oh, oh. Do they bounce? No, it, it nearly missed a corner. Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. It looks like mountains, ice. Yay. Yes. And then the credit. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's really good. Cool. And then if you press enter again, play again. Again. Nice. Good job. Yeah. All right, I'm Paul Wyatt and I hold 12. So, um, should be down here somewhere. Cole was voted by the class most likely to burst into random songs. It's, it's possible. <laughs> All right, so before we start, I have to say, I actually don't know what this program is going to do because I I had a really, really cool program, but that this is not that program. So, um, this is from a few days ago, I'm not sure how many days ago, I'm not sure what it will do, I'm not sure. It's my ball will move in Play it. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. Um, this is the instructions. And 
Oh, I'm sorry, Cameron. I used to have a large monster dead zone. But I took, apparently, this is not. Like, so you can move back. So yeah, that's the cool thing. I select a direction by pressing one of the directions. Um, and then I have power bar goes. It seems to be error in all the sources. Yeah. My main power was... No, it's... It's, uh, it's, it's already, Yeah, it's, it's... This one's not as up to date as my other one. It's not really going to work. But anyway, um, yeah, my main problem is multiple errors that occurred and that I usually fix them, but my program, unluckily... Press enter again. It's not... It's not the, the idea of it, when it did work, it I'd press, I'd press one of the arrow keys and then I'd press uh, any button to stop the power bar and it would go that far in that direction. It was pretty cool, I'd have to go off the screen and then it balanced perfectly. Everything was really cool, you just have to take my word for it, but it's kind of messed up now, so yeah. yeah. I've seen it, it was cool. I messed it up. Let's clap anyway. <laughs> Good job. Hi, I'm Rohan Goldgaard. And Rohan was voted by the class most likely to win a magic contest. Yeah. Um, the, the most interesting thing for this class was drawing the pictures. I mean, that was the most, uh, that was the hardest thing to do. And it, the most interesting was solving problems. Well, last night my pr uh, program, the pics got overwritten. So and a bunch of stuff just got overwritten and I, I had to use an older program. And it doesn't say um, if it gets in the uh, middle or not. <laughs> And I, I even drew like Mario and Luigi and Bowser, but it got erased. It really cool. But it got erased. And yeah. Nice simple. Slow down and watch the book. Oh, it's really cool. Rob, do you talk about um, the, the challenge of making the ball slow down and how that went for you? Well, I tried to make gravity, and, well, it says Mario is safe. I guess I got it in my hole. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, it's, uh, I made an exponential equation for how to, how to make the ball slow down as it goes. Like, it'll start out fast, but then it'll slowly slow down. And then it's it's it, I got it more and more accurate, but then um, a bunch of stuff got overwritten on this calculator. Okay. Hello, my name is Max, and he was voted by the class most likely to hurt himself, others, or his calculator. <laughs> Whoa. That's a cool menu. Yeah, as you can see, there's no direct test to the hole, so you have to do That's your direction, too. Um, yeah, I missed. And the ball is really slow, because there's a lot of... On an 84, too. ...that you need to calculate, that the calculator needs to calculate. And this piddly calculator is... Like, <laughs> that was horrible. What does the switch do? We'll see. There's no direct route to the hole here, so you have to use the pin. So, now we hit the switch. Cut! Now. Ah, oh, oh, yeah. Max, if you just want to explain, that's okay. Um, you want to try to fix. If you hit it, then basically what happens is.
So basically, if um, if the switch is hit, which is right, if it's right here, and the meaning the switch was hit, then go to wh, and what wh would do. First of all, so uh, if you hit the switch, it goes to label S, which draws two circles, four circles, um, one and two on top of each other, and then it stores one as M. And then if M is equal to one and it hits, then what it does is it stores. Can we clap? So wormhole or label label So it stores twenty two and negative seven at which is the second wormhole and then when it hits it just says So just you grant it to the end. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So All right. Yeah, because I'm still going. I didn't pause this time. Oh, that's okay. It's fun watching this process. So then you gotta go to Z. Yeah, they go like we're going to the wrong label. Yeah. So now you gotta change them all to Z. Yeah, all the A's to Z. Audience, please. Should I pause it now? Okay. This will scare people next year. Seriously, Max, just stop. Here we go. Maybe it'll be the sign curve this time. Ooh! I saw that one. Remember, he showed it to me up like yesterday. He also had a drill. Sam, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were cool. <laughs> 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 Quiet. So hilarious. Now, let's move it to the right a little bit. You can do it. Yeah, bounce off the circle. I want to see him. Bounce off the circle. Genius in progress. Genius. Oh! oh! Completed. <laughs> it completed. There's a little thing on the circle. It bounced off a circle. It doesn't matter. It's good enough. It's a little bit slow because the if statement's putting triangles are contained. Contained. Bounce off the circle. 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 Bounce off the and I'll say the rules for you. All numbers 1 through 9 except for 5 are used for the respective directions and so on. And then you can go back to the whole lot if you've read them. That should be clear. Sometimes. Click reset. Click reset. Oh, reset. Nice. Oh, great. It should have been um, clearing each time and then sure. the picture. Sure. Oh, that's awesome. And when you begin the hole, basically what happens is that it'll say it's in, and then it just goes right next, right to the next hole. Because you can play nine holes by yourself, and it'll record your score. So if you sco show a scorecard, it, okay, when it stops, can you show that when it stops? Um, I think it'd be easier if I just went to the hole. 
Okay. 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 I want to the circle first, though, because that's cool. <gasps> no, don't do it this time. No. Yes, bounce off the circle. Bounce off the circle. He already did. Oh. Did we get it? So close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. No, Make it like... Diagonally down, really far. No. Yeah! Ching. Simple. So then, you put your score in right here. Okay. And then it should be a different hole than that. Okay. But it would be, it would be your total cool. score, right? Zero. And then it just goes right to the next hole. Oh, sweet. It's always got the circle in the middle, so you've always got to go around it. So this time you should bounce off the circle. Oh, I see. You're a cool person. Nice. Cool. Wow. Awesome. That concludes our math and programming presentations. For more, come back next year.